We begin tonight with the latest on a massive wildfire burning on the Saratown Mountain in Stokes County. Crews are still trying to contain the blaze. Let's now go straight to our Samir Nefsi joining us live from the base there. Samir, last night you reported the fire spread about seven acres, but tonight you are learning it has nearly doubled in size. What can you tell us? Yeah, Camilla, that is right. Uh, I'm told by crews here that it seems the wildfire has spread to about 15 to 20 acres. And when driving through King, North Carolina, you could notice a significant amount of spread from that wildfire just driving here to the base of the mountain where we're at right now. And basically what I'm told last night, there was a dead tree that rolled through a containment line that allowed the wildfire to continue to spread. But go ahead and take a look at the scene right now. Uh, of course, it is dark. There's still smoke coming off that mountain, but you can start to see that orange glow from those flames of the wildfire and I'm told throughout the day they were pretty much able to contain almost all of the fire except for that that far eastern corner. For miles, you can see the smoke billowing off the southwestern side of Sourtown Mountain. In fact, watch this helicopter carrying water simply disappear into the smoke. Essentially, we're boxing in the fire and then the helicopter has been working with water delivery all day today. Overnight, the wildfire spreading from a contained three acres to a now estimated 15 to 20. It's a burning snag or burning dead tree broke off, rolled across the containment lines and ignited fuels below it. And then we probably had the fire that crossed or slopped over some of the containment lines as well. As the blaze rages on, aerial assistance has continued to help with water drops alongside the 22 firefighters on the ground. Just take a look at this video that shows the point of view of what crews are facing on the mountainside. Well, the train the firefighters are operating in is extremely difficult right now. Uh, there's a lot of slope, rocky, tough terrain to operate in. You know, it's a warm day today. Uh, humidity is low and it's windy conditions and it's very difficult conditions right now. Jimmy Halt of the North Carolina Forest Service says teams will continue to monitor the blaze throughout the night. Back out here alive. So as you can see, crews are starting to go home for the day. They're going to have one person staying here monitoring the fire behind me. But when do they expect to get the fire out completely? Well, I'm told they're really relying tomorrow on the rainfall that's going to happen. They're helping that's going to also put the flames out, but they are going to call the helicopter and aerial assistance back in to help. Uh, also important to note, they don't feel this fire is going to make it anywhere near any structures. Of course, tonight at 11 right here on ABC 45, we'll have much more on cruise works for tomorrow. Reporting live in Stokes County, Samir and FC, ABC 45 News. Okay, Samir, thank you for that update.